Ladies and germs, thank you for joining me. I am Def Shogun, freelance illustrator, graphic designer. If you'd like to check out all my links, they're down below. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Today, we are gonna be working on She-Hulk and Scream, the symbiote mashup. So this will be a quick video, basically explaining the breaking down, how I go step by step through the creative process of making a piece. You're gonna need a few things. An Apple Pencil, and preferably, an iPad Pro. To create my digital art, I usually use the program Procreate. I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description so you guys can pick it up. It's in the App Store and it's only proprietary to Apple devices. Without further ado, let's get into it. Before we begin, the first thing you want to do is set your file size to 12 by 18 inches at 300 dpi. I found that this file size can print up to 24 by 36 before losing resolution and that's a very sweet spot to be in. Now as you sketch, just be loose with it. You don't have to get crazy at first. Just have fun, find the forms you want, and once you're happy with that, we're going to go right into the inks. I take my time on the inks, it's the longest part of the process as I, that's where I put in all my detail. A lot of people in my lives have asked for the ink brush I use. I'll drop a link in the description. Laying this one out was a little tricky because Scream has a lot of hair. Symbiote hair, whips, and all sorts of craziness going on with this character. So it was a bit of a challenge to wrap her in She-Hulk. But I used having layers as a real advantage. I put all the hair that I'd be inking on a separate layer. And this allowed me to draw erase and manage it without affecting the rest of the ink that I've created on this piece. Now as I've said before in this video, inking is the longest process for me, but it's also very therapeutic. You listen to some music, you fall into a zone, and you just work your magic. And get lost in it. Have fun with it. Because that's what the whole point of this is. You do this because you love it. And remember that. Now, the last thing that I like to do on the ink process is drop a nice thick outline around the entire character to make her pop off the page. Once that's done, and all the details on the inks are done, we lay down the flat colors. The way I work in colors is each separate color is on its own layer. So the green, the green and the hair and the skin are separate green colors so they have separate layers. The orange and the white, separate layers. And the purple, separate layers. So I went and changed the color of the background to a dark gray just to give my eye the ability to differentiate what I colored in on her body in white and what's the background. It's at this point you'll notice that the dark orange has changed to a lighter yellowish color. And I'm adding some more flat color to the symbiote itself to match the character. This was all done on the orange layer as I'm just playing with that color to get it right. And as I'm going, I'm just laying down the shadows and the darker versions of each color that I see and placing them in accordance with where I think the light would be coming from, which is right overhead or just in front. And then I go ahead and drop in some highlights. And this is when things really start to pop. Now the highlights, depending on how close the light is or how far away, you just want it to accentuate the color a little bit in different spots. As you can see, there isn't as much highlight as there is shading. This gives the highlights uh, a more prominent feel in their places so they stand out and they have contrast. And that's what you're going for, contrast here. The more you can get these colors and shapes to pop off the page, the better it'll look. Especially when you're doing a character showcase piece like this. Now this is where I start to play with the background and play with some special effects. I'll be making some more videos on how to do those in the future. 
But I just wanted to give you guys an overview of my process for this one. Kind of just jump out the gate and show you guys what I'm capable of and what I might be able to show you. So next up you see we'll add some more flare, some flourish, more whips of symbiote. And I start playing with some Gaussian blur, motion blur on those layers, just to give it that more, more of a depth, you know? And uh, hopefully at this point, you've got a killer piece ready for print. And after that, you drop in your signature, and you're good to go. I hope this video helped you guys out. I dropped a ton of links in the description for you guys so you can check out the brushes I use for this project. So hopefully, you'll be good to go. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to drop any comments. And uh, if... Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so bear with me as I try to, you know, manage how I showcase my work and how I can better um, share my information with you guys. So I hope this helped. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.